Mom, you ain't got to work anymore. I've made it. Made it onto the Cambridge newspaper. Jeez, get up, people. I'm out here living like a celebrity now. You know, if you got my number on your phone, delete it. Things have changed for me now. <laughs> I'm only joking, yeah. So last week I was sat in my room when I got a text come through saying there's an article about you in the Cambridge newspaper. So obviously, me being me, straight on there, got on it and had a look and it said, YouTuber King of Salvage, Henry Arnold, buys ex-criminals BMW i8. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Not really sure it was what I was looking for, you know. Bit of publicity, but in the same token, find out the car I bought would belong to a criminal. Not really, not really amazing. Same week I found out my McLaren's been crashed again, so... Double trouble. My BMW i8 was owned by a criminal. Basically, it was involved in a lot of criminal activity in Cambridge, and it was also involved in a police chase where it was left abandoned on the side of the road, and the people evaded the police. So, fair play to him, at least he got away. I hope he's not in prison right now, because if he is, well, that was a waste, wasn't it, son? And then it hit me. Wouldn't it be good if there was a place you could go online, find out all the information about your car? I'm not talking about an average HBI check. I'm talking about pictures, whether your car was stolen, imported, even details about the manufacturing. Wouldn't that be good if there was somewhere I could find out that information? Hmm. There is. Did you know there actually is? This video is sponsored by Car Vertical. Car Vertical is an online checking platform that allows you to find out every single detail about your car from the history to the mileage to where it was manufactured to whether the registration's been changed to whether it's been involved in a crash and sometimes they've even got pictures of the car from when it was last sold. Like how do they do that? Can you how do they do that? <laughs> So what I want you to do is my friend here, go and check your car right now using the link in the description because did you know one in five cars in the UK and around the world was involved in a crash in its lifetime? That's one in five. Can you believe that? I didn't believe it, but check the stats, it's true. So go and check your car right now and find out whether your car has been involved in a crash. Tell me what you find. Put it in the comments below, tell me what you find. I'm going to answer all your questions. There's some crazy stuff I found out about my BMW i8, which I'm going to show you right now. Apart from the fact that my car was owned by a criminal, which we have established now, the car was not stolen. Have you, oh, have you no. Look. The car was not stolen. But the car is obviously involved in an accident, and when it's involved in an accident, you get one of them exclamation marks in the signs there, and you know that that is bad news. Very bad news. But the car had maintenance in 2016, and you can see that information. The history of your car is at your fingertips. On the app, you can actually see if the vehicle is damaged in different countries, because sometimes if a vehicle was damaged elsewhere, it wouldn't show up on a HPI check, a standard one in the UK. But this app caters for every country in the world. There are actually pictures of a lot of cars, like there was pictures of my M4, with the i8 having it only been crashed recently, there's no pictures yet, but they will be updated soon. So you might actually be able to see pictures of your own car on there. Crazy. So yeah, hit the comments below now and tell me what you found out about your car. And Car Vertical is the place for you. So any checks you're going to be doing in the future, make sure you use Car Vertical and use my link below to get yourself a discount. But anyway, back onto the topic of the i8. What am I going to do? What would you do if you were in my shoes? <sighs> back to the drawing board. But anyway, welcome back my people, it's your boy H8 and today is the BMW i8 day. My plan for today is to try and get a full parts list of parts for the BMW i8. I found a Cat B breaker one with all the parts I need for mine. So I've just got to go through it today and find out exactly everything I need. So I can send it over to him and then he can price that up. There are a lot of bloody parts for that, I can't tell you. Do you know what, I was stuck between a rock and a hard place. Do I put it back in the co part and get my money back for it? Do I repair it because either way I feel like I'm gonna lose money because the car is a lot more damaged than I initially expected. But that's what you get when you buy of Copart because you never know what you're getting, especially at the moment because you can't go to Copart and actually have a look around any cars. It's just a nightmare, so it is what it is. But for the love of the channel, you know, I went back to the drawing board like you saw earlier and I thought long and hard about it and I'm gonna do it for the channel because why the fuck not? And I can't promise you guys something and then not deliver with it. I've done that before with the R8. We're not bloody doing it again, okay? So this is the BMW i8 if you haven't seen. There's gonna be a link in the top right for you to go and watch the first video on there. So I'm not gonna go through the damage in full depth but I'm talking rear end, interior, windscreen, wheels and front end. It's an all over job. So let's start from the back. There are two suspension arms that are bent on the back here and then there's one bent suspension arm 
down here and then on the interior it's pretty straightforward what i need everything no, i'm joking i don't need everything but i need seat belts for the front full dash i need uh the steering wheel bag and then the roof line and airbags actually gone but they're not too expensive and they're pretty generic so i can find them online and uh fit them myself and then the lining will just push back in itself that's not to worry it's got these signs over it saying oh, nearly fell over it's got these signs on it saying danger electric shock risk but do you know what because my moves are electric anyway, I don't care about that. It, working on these cars, it is, it is, you've got to be sensible with it because there are electric shock risks. And uh, that's why I give all of my staff metal gloves to work with it. So <laughs> they're extra, <laughs> I'm joking. Then I do actually need a caliper for the back right as well, which I forgot. And then front end, I'm going to go through this on my own quickly, just so I can see it myself. Because I don't want to get a camera under there and scratch the lens and all that stuff. But what I'm going to do is once I know exactly what I need, I'm going to come back to you and... Uh, fill you in with all the little details so put me in about three two one you'll hear my voice telling you every single part there is on the car so we're going to start at the front end are you ready because i'm going to reel it off quickly so we've got the full side skirts on both sides passenger headlight full crash bar mounts and padding all front radiators mounts and brackets front subframe full front left suspension bonnet hinges front arch line both sides front panel and brackets all headlight mounts and bracket passenger side front wire loom washer jets bottles and pipes damn that's a lot of parts for the front end are you ready for round two it should be a little bit short this time onto the interior so we need the full dash we need both passenger and driver seat belts we need the steering wheel airbag and we need the headline airbags although in the burnt one we're not going to get both the airbags from the headline we'll only get one so we'll have to buy the other one elsewhere and we also need a windscreen and the wheels. I know the wheels aren't interior, but I'm gonna put them in this list anyway. So that's for the interior. And the final round now, round three, let's get it going. Okay, this is the rear end. So we need the upper rear suspension arm on both sides. We need the rear arch lining on the right. We need the rear right caliper. And then we also need a rear badge, but I'm not too worried about that one because I can get one of them anywhere. So that is all of the parts. And you know what that screams to me? absolute cash dollar dollar put your comment below what you think that is going to come to from this geezer well, i sent that over to uh kaz now and he's going to come back with me in the next few days to find a price comment below what you think that's going to come to from him i reckon he's going to quote me i'd like to say 10 grand for it any more than that i think that's bloody ridiculous hopefully it's less but at the most 10 grand and then there's still room to work with but any more than that is um is absolutely ludicrous mate that's the score of the i8 i'll keep you updated on that but i don't know if you know what you're actually sitting on right now or the camera's sitting on it's the e-class mercedes and there's been a little bit of progress with the e-class mercedes i actually found a full car online cat b it was a convertible but it's the same e-class coupe with all the parts we need i'm talking down to every single bolt even the airbags and we've ordered it we've bought it all only problem was it come off of a diesel and obviously this is a petrol so the radiators are slightly different on this one so we've had to order new radiators and they're on back order from mercedes so it's blah 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 blah, blah you know it never is straightforward with these cars i swear i'm cursed i've just got bad luck it must be me it must be me uh, i'll show you it this is this is where we're at at the moment i don't know if you remember i'll put a picture up now of what it was like before and then this is what it looks like now so it's coming along, you know, we've got new bonnet on there, which actually lines up fantastic. It didn't line up perfectly to start with, but we've had to bash it in a little bit. Obviously, we've got two wings to go on. There's no suspension damage on this. And then um, that radiator doesn't actually fit, but we're getting two more radiators. Because it's actually, there's a radiator there and there's a tiny little radiator underneath. As well, which, uh, which that's the one that's a pain in the ass that's taken ages. It's like really small. It might be over here, actually. Yeah, it is. It's over here. It's this little... This little bastard there see that one there so that's what we need to order and um and then we've literally got everything and we can put it together and then obviously we've got to wipe the crash date rather ecu there's like a pyro fuse on a battery which blows as well when the car's in a crash so i'm not sure if it's going to start yet we haven't tried but geez this car is fire you know e-class mercedes classy classy motor the screen it's like five ipads in a row and the interior is just nice, soft Alcantara, and then that folk, 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 faux leather. Yeah, it's just naughty. So the person who had this before actually tinted the rear lights here. And you can see that they're fully smoked out and blacked out there. So yeah, I don't know if anybody's uh, 
after a broken bonnet for an E class because I've got one for sale. All the parts are next door. I'm not going to take you in there now because it's pointless. You will see them on there very, very soon. I've got so much content coming out for you guys. But um, the main focus for me at the moment is to try and source some parts for that i8 because it, it's sitting there like that. It just looks ugly, doesn't it? Look, look at the state of that. Just floating there on them stands. I'm wrapped by Turo Designs in uh, Kent, which is only five minutes from where my yard is at the moment. They're actually going to do uh, an unwrap on it. I don't know if I'm going to get it rewrapped yet. I was actually going to go for the Cactus Jack Travis Scott look, but with the prices and how that's coming out, I don't know whether it's even feasible to do that. Um, all the spaces for the D-Max Rally sponsor have been taken. Um, I might take on a couple more, so if you are interested, please message me on Instagram. Um, if you want to donate some money to charity, that's great. I'm going to try and raise a £1,000 for charity. At the moment, we've got about 400 so we're nearly there. I'm going to do a few more fundraisers. And then I'm also going to be doing a giveaway very, very soon because I'm nearly at 10K on Instagram. And at 10K, I'm going to give away a pair of trainers. Um, but all details will be released on my Instagram very, very soon. So um, for today, that is it. So we've got the full parts list that's been sent off. And next time, you will find out the price I was quoted and... Uh, if I'm going to pursue it with him or if I need to get parts from BMW. <sighs> Who knows? Who knows? Adios, amigos.